Hello everyone, this is a practical demonstration of how to pull emails from the search engine AOL using Creative Bear Text Email Scraper. Now, AOL, you may have had as your internet service provider one time, and it's a service provider based in New York. It's also marketed by Verizon Media, and it started as an online service known as PlayNet, which hosted multiplayer games for the Commodore 64. So in order to get emails, first you're going to want to make sure that you have the registered version of the software, as this is necessary to run the scraper. Next we're going to choose a niche and a project name. I want to see what we can get for cooking, so I'm going to make the project name cooking, and I'm going to put in one keyword per line. After I put in one keyword per line, I'm going to make sure my settings are correct. And here we can see different proxies. And the reason we use this is to avoid IP address bans, and you can get them from storm proxies and hashshell.com. I'm going to check my speed settings and make sure that my results are where they want them and that it's crawling five emails. I can adjust that, I can also decrease that. I'm going to make sure that my capture is in there with the API. And then I'm going to go to the different search engines and select AOL and make sure that it populates in the source list. Now, this is going to be an international search with search engines like Google and Bing. We can narrow it down to specific countries and regions, but for AOL, we're doing an international search. So I'm going to go ahead and hit save and close, and then I'm going to start the application. Now while the application is working, since this is in visible mode, I can see what's going on. If we want invisible mode, we can click that here and then click start. We won't see any of this, but this is showing what the search engine is doing for practical purposes. So now it's searching the keywords that we've put in, the niche that we've put in, on AOL. And we're going to give it a couple seconds here to start populating results. So as you can see here, we've scraped a few results, so I'm going to go ahead and hit stop. And it, you can see the search engine is stopped, as it says searching is stopped here. Now we're going to go ahead and export that by clicking the export button here, and we can see the file. We can open it one of two ways. You can type this file name or .csv into the search bar on Windows, or you can go to your folder where you have the application at, and then you can go to the location of that folder. I can see cooking is our project name, and I'm gonna go ahead and open this up here and then see the leads we just scraped. And we're gonna give it a couple seconds to open up here. And we can see in Excel the different emails we pulled from the Creative Bear Tech Scraper and the information. And this was using AOL and using cooking as a niche. Now, if you're a small business owner or an individual who wants to reach out to this, you can use this to further more leads for your business. Thank you very much for watching the practical demonstration on how to pull emails using Creative Bear Tech for AOL.